Hey, it's Joe Williams from Tribe SEO, and I'm here to show you how to submit an XML sitemap to Google in just a few minutes. And if you stick around until the end, I'll show you a bonus way so that other search engines can find it too. But very quickly, what is an XML sitemap and do you need one? An XML sitemap is a web page created specifically for search engines and it lists all the important pages on your site. Strictly speaking, your site doesn't have to have an XML sitemap because search engines primarily discover pages through crawling from one web page to another. For example, a search engine may start at your homepage and review all the pages linked off it. It would then continue this process for all new pages until it's discovered all the pages on your site that have internal links. That said, it doesn't hurt to have an XML sitemap and it may encourage search engines to discover pages on your site quicker. And it also provides a fallback if they struggle to find all the pages on your site. So how do you submit your sitemap to Google? Step one, find your XML sitemap. Conventionally, XML sitemaps are located at yourdomainname.com slash sitemap.xml. And this is often where search engines will guess where they can find your XML sitemap. So for Tribe SEO, I'll visit www.tribeseo.com slash sitemap.xml. And in our case, this redirects us to our actual XML sitemap. So slash sitemap underscore index.xml. Now, if the slash sitemap.xml location doesn't exist on your site, it's good practice like we did to use a redirect and point it to the place where it does exist. For our site, this is automatically done by our SEO plugin, which coincidentally is another way that may help you locate your XML sitemap. Now, before I show you how to do that, I want to show you what our XML sitemap looks like. You can see our XML sitemap contains four separate sitemaps for different content types. So I'll click on the first link, which takes me to the post XML sitemap. This sitemap is for our blog, and you can see it contains a URL, how many images it contains, and when the post was last modified. All things that search engines take note of. Now, to see what this looks like, I'll check the source code by right-clicking on a blank space of the page, and in Chrome, selecting View Page Source. And it looks something like this. This is XML code, but it's not something that you need to worry about because content management systems or whatever tool you use to produce your XML sitemap will generate it for you and it's aimed at search engines and not users. Okay, so our site is on WordPress and we use the Rank Math SEO plugin. To show you another way of locating your XML sitemap, I'll click Sitemap Settings from the side menu. From there, it says your sitemap index can be found here and then links to it. So I'll copy this URL ready for the next step. Now, if you can't find your XML sitemap, either in one of these ways, it could be that you don't have one, but you can double check with your web developer or whoever looks after your website in case it's located somewhere else. And this brings us to step two, submit your XML sitemap to Google. Now, you'll need access to Google Search Console. And if you don't have access to it, here's a video uh, above me, either to the left or right, explaining how to do just that. Once you're logged in, under the index section in the side menu, click sitemaps. From there, you'll be able to see whether an XML sitemap has already been submitted. If it has, check that it matches the XML sitemap that you've just found and that it isn't an old one from donkey's years back. In my case, it does match and it's an up-to-date XML sitemap. But if you do need to add your XML sitemap, then paste in the sitemap URL and press submit. Google usually takes a few days to fully process the XML sitemap, but once it has, it will report information such as when it was last read and how many URLs were discovered. Okay, so that's how you submit an XML sitemap to Google. But here's a bonus tip. Add your XML sitemap to your robots.txt file. Did you know that every time a search engine accesses your site, it's supposed to visit a file called robots.txt? 
This file indicates to search engines which page they can and can't access. But here's the thing, you can also add a line of code that points search engines to your XML sitemap. This should have you covered for all other search engines like Bing and Yahoo. Now, unlike the XML sitemap, the robots.txt location is fixed, and it's always at the top level of your site and called robots.txt. So for TribeSEO, you'll find it at www.tribeseo.com slash robots.txt. And if I click through, you can see it references our XML sitemap. Note, you add sitemap colon, then a space, and then the full path to your XML sitemap URL. Now, if you visit your robots.txt file and it throws up a 404 error, it means that the file doesn't exist, so you probably want to create one. If you do have a robots.txt file, but it isn't referenced in your XML sitemap, this is usually a job for your web developer, but you may be able to edit it for your SEO plugin. For example, in Rank Math, under General Settings, there's an option to edit the robots.txt file. Okay, that's a wrap. So now you know how to submit your XML sitemap to Google and make it super easy for other search engines to find it too. I'm Joe from Tribe SEO, and if you're new, subscribe to our channel, and I'll see you in the next video.